Hello, my name is Dr. Wendy Burton, and I thank you for making the time to watch this short video prior to your second AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. I do hope that you went very well following the first dose and had very few or no side effects. Just a reminder though, there are side effects that you might experience after this dose. On the positive side, the chances of you having a side effect after your second dose of AstraZeneca is actually much lower than after your first, with more than seven out of 10 people reporting that they experienced no side effects at all. Of those who did, and it was just over one in four, they were the big four, headaches, tiredness, muscle aches and pains, and a sore arm. Keep in mind though, it's still possible to get chills and a fever or joint aches and pains. Of those who had the second dose, one in 17 did feel unwell enough that they took or would have taken a day off work, study, or their regular duties. The incidence of the rare blood clotting disorder is much lower after the second dose of AstraZeneca. In fact, we are yet to have a confirmed case here in Australia, as I film in early August, 2021. Based on the UK data, however, we believe that it could occur in 1.9 people per 1 million doses. So please do keep alert to the onset of a severe persistent headache, abnormal tummy pains, or calf pain and swelling, which typically could come on four to 42 days after the vaccination. Please let us know early if you are experiencing these side effects because there are tests that can be done and treatment that is available. It will take a further seven to 10 days for your immunity levels to peak. And once they have, then the data is excellent that along with the Pfizer vaccine, AstraZeneca provides protection of more than 90% from severe infections. Unfortunately though, it is still possible for you to get infected and less likely but possible for you to transmit it to others. So the rules still apply, please. If you are sick, get tested and stay home until you have a negative result and you are well. Keep your physical distance, cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands frequently. And if you are in an area which is crowded and you can't avoid it, then please wear a mask as well as at all times as dictated by your local public health service. I thank you very much for being part of the solution to the current situation and I wish you well. Thank you.